AMD's new graphics card, the RX 480, was officially released today. Launching with both 4GB and 8GB models in the $200 price range, the 480 aims to be the new king of mid-range graphics cards. AMD claims the 480's performance will fall between the R9 390 and 390X. This means it packs the power of cards currently priced at $300 or more, and it should be the least expensive graphics card capable of decent VR gaming. We have put together two example PC builds featuring the RX 480. The first is a powerful build that is an excellent all-around PC for $950. Second is a more budget-conscious build that trims down a few extras to get the most bang for your buck while costing closer to $650. Both builds meet the official requirements for the Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, and they will play modern PC games smoothly with very high graphical settings. Also, it's important to note that the real-world prices for the RX 480 might start out higher than AMD's suggested prices. AMD moved this launch ahead of schedule because of Nvidia's new graphics cards. As these cards use new cutting-edge manufacturing technology, supplies are low. Combined with good performance at a fair price, demand is sure to be high. As we've seen with similar hardware releases, prices are likely to end up quite a bit higher than stated and may stay that way for some time. Next, let's answer a quick question. Which RX 480 should you get, the 4GB or 8GB model? When it comes to gaming, most people are not going to see a big difference between those two models. Only a few of the most demanding PC games use more than 4GB of video RAM, and that's only at very high settings or extremely large resolutions. At those sorts of extreme settings, the RX 480 is not powerful enough to produce smooth frame rates anyway, even if you do have 8GB of video RAM. So, outside of a few uncommon scenarios, the 4GB will perform exactly like the 8GB model when gaming. However, for future games that may need more VRAM, $30 is a fair price to pay for peace of mind. If you're building a PC for more than gaming, such as video editing, the extra video RAM might be useful depending on the software you're using. Now, time for the builds. Let's take a look at the excellent build. As of launch day, this build is priced at $955 and is an excellent all-around PC. For the starring role, we have the RX 480 8GB model. For those times, the extra VRAM might actually come in handy. Now, this build is assuming that the 8GB model is actually available for its suggested price of $230. For this card to be a good choice, the price needs to be lower than about $270. Above that, other cards become better values. Intel's i5-6500 is a great CPU in the $200 range. It hits the sweet spot for price and performance as it will handle pretty much any modern PC game while also being capable enough for work like video editing. For the motherboard, we have an ASRock Z170 Pro 4S which has all the features you want without breaking the bank. We suggest 16GB of DDR4-2400 RAM, but most people would be fine with 8GB or with slower RAM. The most important thing is to make sure it's DDR4. For an SSD, we've got the 240GB SanDisk Ultra 2. It's a great SSD for the price and provides super quick boot times for your operating system and important applications. For extra storage, we suggest a 2TB HGST hard drive, although you can choose a larger drive if you think you'll need more space. I personally get the largest drive I can afford after I've chosen the rest of my parts. And for the heatsink, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, one of the best heatsinks for the money. For the power supply, we picked out the 650 watt EVGA GS, which is high quality and fully modular with power headroom in case you want to add a second RX 480 in the future. Finally, we're recommending the Fractal Design Arc MIDI R2 case. It's sleek and minimal with all the necessary features for the average PC build. But what if $950 is a little out of your price range? Our budget build cuts some corners to get closer to $650, but still packs nearly the same power as the excellent build. As a bonus, it's all built into a smaller micro ATX form factor. The budget build will run any current game smoothly with very high settings at 1080p resolution. The advantages of the excellent build over the budget build are slightly higher performance, easier upgrades in the future, better cooling, and higher quality components that add extra reliability. Here's the breakdown of components. If you want to read about this build in more detail, click on our budget build link in the video description. We've also listed all of the parts for both builds. Keep in mind that for any new PC build, you also need an operating system. I use Windows 10. And that's it. Those are just two examples of countless PC builds you can make with the new RX 480. If you want to track recommendations for builds as they evolve over time, check our PC hardware recommendations at logicalincrements.com. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to learn more about PC hardware, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.